60 second economics on currency appreciation. So what happens when a currency goes up in value? The economics is surprisingly powerful. Here's a good example, the Swiss franc, one of the strongest currencies in the world, appreciating in value against the US dollar. So a currency appreciation means it becomes more expensive relative to other currencies. Now that tends to make a country's exports more expensive for foreign buyers. So demand for exports usually falls. At the same time, imports become cheaper, which actually might lead, as in the case of Switzerland, to the risk of deflation. And net trade, X minus M, tends to decrease, which lowers aggregate demand, slowing growth and potentially increasing unemployment, perhaps in export sectors. But there are benefits. Cheaper imports reduces cost push inflation. Good news for central banks and firms that rely on imported raw materials may see lower production costs. And a strong currency appreciation can signal investor confidence or higher interest rates, perhaps attracting capital inflows into the banking system. So the impact of a currency depreciation depends on price elasticity of demand. A large import dependency, well, that's good news because the appreciation strongly reduces inflation. And also a strong currency can help businesses buy new capital goods, new technology, plant and equipment, which could boost long and aggregate supply. The short and long run effects tend to differ. For example, on the net trade balance, if the currency goes up, you may get the J curve for an appreciation working in reverse. The trade balance may initially improve in the short term.